Hey, yo, what's going on, family? It's your big brother once again, Swisher G, back again with another one. On this one, we're going to spill the beans, man. I got Pro Mix and Secret Weapon. Now, if you watch enough of these tutorials, one thing that you should hear repeated often is to make sure that you use references when you're mixing. So I'm going to share my personal favorite reference tool that I use, uh, and maybe it's something that can be helpful for you guys as well and it is reference to by mastering the mix um it is a uh, very intuitive very easy to use if you're not familiar with it i do recommend everybody to go ahead and give it a try as you can see here on their website they do have free trials available uh, you can download all of their plugins it gives you a free 15 day trial full access you're able to use all of the features of the plugin during that trial to really be able to get in and see if it is good for your workflow me personally i love it um it kind of works for me as you can see it's uh, 66 dollars on mastering in the mix if you hop over in the plugin boutique you can save a couple of bucks it's 57 um, if it makes any difference for you guys. Also, you know, in Plugin Boutique, you always get a uh, free plugin with any purchase. Uh, and it, you also get the virtual cash and points that you can collect as well. So it's also available on Plugin Boutique uh, if that's an option for you. All right, so let's take a look of how you could use Reference 2 to end up with better mixes. Now the session that I have pulled up here is the latest release from my artist James to the J, Buss It. Uh, song is streaming everywhere. Video is on YouTube. I will throw the link in the description. Make sure you guys go check out that video once this one is finished. All right, there's two main things that I wanna show you uh, with the reference. One thing that is good for is before and after mixing, for example, somebody like me, I do a lot of mixing for clients. So a lot of times they might have their rough jab that they've been listening to that they kind of want to keep things in that lane, but they just want to enhance it. So you want to use the reference to make sure that you're not going too far off track of what the artist originally had in mind. And then the other way that you would want to use it is you would want to also test it against some of the top streaming songs of the day because you want to make sure that you give your people something that is going to translate if it's in a playlist next to any other song as far as loudness, tone, feeling, vibe, everything like that. So the session that I have pulled up is Buss It. I have two reference tracks loaded up in here. So audio four, I'm gonna do a little bit of switching back and forth between it. It's actually the same song. For audio four, I actually did a loop back. I recorded this song into Pro Tools from Spotify just to kind of, you know, get a test to be able to see how it translate, how how it's heard versus how it's mixed in the doll, and then. Audio 5, I'm not going to play Audio 5, but I will switch over to it so that we can see some differences. I selected a track that did have some kind of dramatic differences from our busted track so that you can see how you would be able to use it. All right. So let's start here with the original. <laughs> Need to hush it If it ain't about the money You ain't sticking to the subject In them house, motherfucker Yeah, we working and we hustling Ain't no talking, no discussion If I pull it, I'ma bust it Niggas say a lot of shit But I don't really trust it I don't do this shit for fun I do this shit because I love it In them house, motherfucker Yeah, we working and we hustling Ain't no talking, no discussion If I pull it, I'ma bust it Picture this Coming from a real lyricist I'm birthing the track Every time I drop a semen hit I kill it, then I rebirth it I spit it with no rehearsing I'm so determined, I'm yearning I'm hungry and plus 
Plus I'm thirsty, never nervous. I ain't perfect. All right, I'm gonna stop right there for now. But as you can see, there wasn't much difference. The only difference is the peak level. Um, and that's due to the encoding process. Um, bouncing it down to the wave file. Also, uh, like I said, I recorded it out of Spotify. So, also the Spotify encoding process. So, that's where that comes from. All right. Now, this time, I'm going to play the busted track, but I'm going to highlight this second song that we have loaded up here. I'm not going to play it because I don't want any copyright issues. But we're going to be looking in this graph down here, and we're going to be looking at the differences between the two songs. So let's take a look. James! This is my philosophy, you niggas need to hush it. If it ain't about the money, you ain't sticking to the subject. Then I'm house, motherfucker. Yeah, we working and we hustling. Ain't no talking, no discussion. If I pull it, I'ma bust it. Niggas say a lot of shit, but I don't really trust it. I don't do this shit for fun. I do this shit because I love it. Then I'm house, motherfucker. Yeah, we working and we hustling. Ain't no talking, no discussion. If I pull it, I'ma bust it. Picture this, coming from a real lyricist. I'm birthing the track every time I drop a semen hit. I kill it, then I rebirth it. I spit it with no rehearsing. I'm so determined. I'm yearning. I'm hungry, and plus I'm thirsty now. All right, so I just did a control click to kind of freeze that line so that we can talk about it a little bit. So again, I chose this song because it did have the differences that we're seeing here. If you look in the low end, the low end is not much difference. Um, so this is the difference between. So my track has a little bit more sub bass, a little bit less mid, low mids. But in this mid range, the other song has a lot more mid range. My song has a lot more top end. So now, if you was using this yourself as a reference, you got to think of two things. One is, is this really a problem? It could be an artistic choice. In this case, it's the it's an artistic choice. Like I said, I chose a song that was drastically different so that I could show you these differences. But if your goal in mixing is to make it sound a certain way and you have a good reference and your graph is showing large differences like this, then you know you need to dig more into your mixing and you need to address your high frequencies and your high mids in this case. So you would, maybe it's some of your instrumentation, maybe on the highs, maybe you have, like the difference in, in this song in particular, mine has a lot more high end because my beat has hi hats. The other beat doesn't have hi hats. So that high frequency information of the hi hats is what gives the difference in this um in the other song um it was i want to say it was a i think it was an auto-tuned vocal uh, a heavy auto-tuned vocal mine is a more natural vocal so the auto-tune kind of gives more of the mid-range upfront presence while mine is a more natural so it kind of blends more with the rest of the instrumentation. Um, and like I said, I got a lot more high frequency, in, high frequency instrumentation to begin with. Uh, so that, that's why we have these differences right here. All right, so this is just one of the many tools that I keep uh, on deck to be able to make sure that I get your songs sounding the best as they possibly can. Um, if you all haven't seen 
You can now book me for mixing and mastering on the engineers platform. Big shout out to Mix by Ali engineers and that whole staff for really putting on for the community. So if you are an artist and you are looking for a new engineer to mix and master your songs, make sure you hit the link in the description. I'm going to make sure it's the first link in the description. Also, the first link in the comments. Um, I'll give you all a 20% discount code for, oh, for your first booking through engineers um so make sure you guys tap in with me on there i've been doing we've been doing a whole lot of work coming out of the venom house and we just we just ready to spread our wings and work with everybody man so again thank you all for checking this out make sure you all check out reference two or if it's not reference two there are other reference plugins that you could can use but just make sure you find something that works for your workflow so that you can take your mixing to the next level again i am your brother swisher g we out of here two dollars